good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for joining us today in today's series of Excel tips. We will dive into mastering the use of drop downs within Excel. As we all know, usually when it comes to data analysis, you need real, accurate data to be able to do the data analysis. And drop downs always come in and to avoid errors or various spelling mistakes that can really take time to clean up before you carry out analysis, especially if you have a number of people that are inputting data for you. So for today, we will look at how you can easily create drop down lists within your Excel templates. And when we talk of the drop down lists, like using the example of the data that we are using for today for continents and some specific countries under each of the continents, and then the presidents of the countries picked for South America. We want to be able to create drop downs so that if somebody wants to input a continent, instead of them coming and typing manually where they can even make mistakes, they should be able to pick from a drop down list. And then thereafter, we shall also look at how to create dependent drop down lists so that if a person picks a continent, say Africa here, in the country, we should be able to get the specific countries under the continent Africa so that we minimize any errors in our data input. But to start with, uh, we will start by looking at how you create name ranges because this would be writing of the formulas within our drop down. When it comes to name ranges, what we are meaning is instead of having ranges like A1 to maybe S6, we want to be able to name our own range like this should have been range H3 to H8, but we want to give it a name continent so that wherever we write in our Excel, work of continent, Excel knows that wherever it is continent, it refers to the range H3 to H8. So when it comes to creating these name ranges, this is done under the tab formulas. And under formulas, we have what we call defined the names. This is where we can define our own names. And we can use the simple one of creating from the selection. In this case, if I select this and it's a create from selection and I'm using the top row as the name of that selection and I say, okay, Excel would create a named range with the name continent. And if I want to see whether what I've created has been successful, I can check this under the name manager. In this case, you will see continent is listed and it is referring to the continents we have within the name range H3 to H8. So we can also create for the rest of the countries. This we can do at once. We can select them at once and we say create from range. And the name is the one for the top row. And we say OK. And we can also do the same for the presidents. Create from selection. OK. And now when we go to our name manager, all of these are available with the references that we need. Now back to our topic of the day, creating drop downs. So drop downs are like if you want to create for the continent, this one you do it under the tab data, and under data you go under data validation, and you pick the option data validation. Under settings, because you want to create a list, we will pick from the drop down that you want to create a list, and we need to give it a reference. And because we created the name range continent, we can just say that our reference is equal to continent. In other words, when we are referring to that range, we named as continent. And when we say, okay, 
Excel will automatically create a drop down list referring to this named range continent, and all of these will be available. So it is as simple as that. Create a name range under data validation, refer to that name range. Now, the next one is creating a dependent drop down. An example here we want Excel to create a list for the countries based on the input for the content. And this is what we call the dependent drop down list. For this one, we still follow the same process under data validation data, and we are creating a list. But in this case, we are going to use the formula indirect. And we are saying that this is indirect based on the input in cell D34, the continent. So the trick is using indirect within the formula. And we will say, okay, you see that when we have Africa, here now it is able to pick out the list of the countries that we have under Africa. If we change it to Europe, you will see that now it is able to bring for us the list of the countries under Europe. And if we have to change it to, let's say, South America, it is still giving us the list of the countries under South America. And I can pick, let's say, Brazil. The same way we created the dependent value drop down for country is the same process you would use if you wanted to create one for the president. Is going to data validation, data list, and still we are going to use indirect because it is dependent. But now the indirect is based on the option we have in cell D4 and we'll say okay and you see because there is Brazil now I'm able to pick the president for Brazil that's over if the country changes to Colombia then in the drop down list I'm able to pick Gustav Petro so colleagues this is how you can quickly or easily create drop downs within excel as we wind up the session for today i want to leave you with a challenge how do you ensure that because you see the data remains constant fixed if i'm to change here to asia this one doesn't change unless i come my fund, i pick an appropriate list so the challenge i want to, to leave with you is what additional formula can you use for the system to show you that the input in the country is an error if you've changed the continent so that you are able to see where there is an erroneous entry so that is a challenge for you to look out for as you keep practicing on how to use drop downs within excel wish you all the best